Hi there Scorpio, hope you're well. Been getting some nasty fan mail. It's not fan mail is it when it's nasty, it's hate mail. I'm Dodici from astrology.com.au. A lot of you know me, for those of you that are new, welcome. Uh, Happy New Year, it's 2019. I've uh, got my notes here because I want to give you a synopsis of the coming 12 months. And I've uh, put a heading here, the best things in life aren't things. So let me read on because that will be part of the theme here. Uh, And it's a big year loaded with potential success as long as you continue to keep working on your mind by giving it a positive upturn. I've met so many Scorpios and myself included. You know, I'm not um, not exempt from the transits of uh, those planets. It's been a difficult cycle for Scorpios. Your transits haven't made it easy for you to deal with the many challenges that life's thrown at you. Take, for instance, the initial solar eclipse on January 6. This is a new moon taking place in your third house of mind, mentality, communications. The ongoing transit of transformative Pluto and conservative restrictive Saturn in this same area will combine with these lunar and solar energies to activate a radical new approach in your interactions with others. That's already started. If you consider the matter of success, you'll realize that it rests predominantly on the way you think and the way you use your thought processes to manifest those things in life that you desire. The third house is also representing your day-to-day activities to to some extent. Along with your sixth house of work routine, this does have a large part to play in how organised you'll be in the coming 12 months. The erratic influence of Uranus on your sixth house shows that you've been even more vigilant in the use of your time and resources. It means refining your communications so that you can eliminate those unnecessary people from your life. The impact of Uranus on your day-to-day scheduling makes it difficult for you to tie people down, to get clear directives from your employers or even know exactly what you yourself want. It's all the more reason for you to have a game plan in place and to do that earlier in the year rather than letting your valuable time slip by without any concrete results. As as I said, many Scorpio clients and visitors are finding it hard to reconcile the fact that they haven't yet turned the corner. This is in spite of the fact that many astrologers have been saying that life should already have started to become a lot better. But the seeds of greatness are sometimes found in those difficult circumstances that you find yourself in. The necessity is (coughs) um, mother of invention, you know, that old saying. And although... Jupiter continues to transit your second house of income and fortune, you still must find creative ways to circumvent those challenges that still persist. Throughout the new year, Jupiter will slowly make its way into your more beneficial aspect to Uranus. Perhaps it's that these two planets yet haven't made a close contact in their favourable celestial connection, And this hasn't given you the results you'd hoped for. Patience is necessary, my friend. The success I alluded to earlier has to do with the management of time and the management of the sort of space and people you deal with, along with clearly defined ideas and objectives. Jupiter's benign influence helps shape your ideas as crazy as they may seem. Now, in the first few days of January, your ruling planet Mars also moves to the sixth house of work practice. You'll be extremely energized and want to make your mark in this area. You're competitive and can win in any sort of sporting or professional rivalry. Because it relates to your work, there may be some friendly or perhaps not so friendly interactions on the work front. The tendency with Mars is to come out with all guns blazing. You need to confront others head on, but by the same token, Remain aware that people are out to get you and you must be clever in the way you overcome your adversaries. You've got to be aware of those people who are out to get you. Sometimes you may not even be conscious of the fact. Overwork may be a problem in the first month or so as Mars makes contact with erratic Uranus and it's in this very same area on February 13th that life will throw you a curveball. Keep your wits about you and be prepared for unexpected changes in your life. Mars, as one of the rulers of 
Your sun sign also coincidentally rules your health and well-being. That's because it rules the sixth house or Aries. Now throughout January and February, precautions must be taken not to push yourself too hard. Digestive troubles could arise as a result of not planning your work or life schedule. Yeah, eating on the run, not taking nutritious food, and just generally letting yourself get run down. So take time to nurture yourself, sleep well. You owe that to yourself to be the best you can be in 2019. You're just about to ask me about relationships. I was a step ahead of you. Relationships do play a significant role in your life this year as Venus transits your sun sign along with the moon, just as 29 gets underway. So you want to develop closer intimacy with those you love, and this will happen quite easily as Venus moves to that trine aspect of Mars, your ruler. That happens on January 19. Don't allow the doubts, <laughs> don't allow, don't allow those doubts to interfere with what you, your deeper self is telling you. That happens as a result of a simultaneous square aspect to Neptune, throwing a bit of confusion into the mix. Fortunately, by the 22nd, the conjunction to Jupiter allows you to feel much more comfortable and open in all of your relationships. Um, I want to talk to you about the key periods, but that if you go to the website astrology.com.au, I've written up a whole lot more here specifically on your relationships, and I go through much more detailed analysis of that. 2019 is about re-establishing your values, especially for financial nature. The transit of Mercury and Jupiter at the outset of the year strongly hint at the fact that you need to find greater meaning in the way that you work. You want to ensure that the money earned is connected to good feelings about the work you happen to be doing. Perhaps money won't be at the top of your agenda as you start to realise time is your most valuable commodity. It's likely that many of you will readjust your perspective by giving more time to your family, friends and most importantly to those pursuits that make you feel happy, free and whole. As a general rule of thumb, you could easily adopt the following saying, and I left it to last, the best things in life aren't things. So do join me at astrology.com.au. We've got the love, romance and friendship write up. We've got the uh, finance and career and also luck, karma and spirituality. Look forward to your company again in February. And once again, Happy New Year to you. Bye bye for now.